What's up guys, it's Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. Today I'm reviewing a fantastic light by Think Grow LED, the Model H, released in 2019 and updated since then. This light was in our best LED grow lights of 2021 video, link below. Stick around for the full review, par testing, and my final thoughts on this fixture. And support our channel by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe. As of this video, ThinkGrow has a total of five LED grow lights in their catalog, the Model I and the Model I Plus, which are top lights that can be used in grow rooms, greenhouses, but also in grow tents. The main difference between the two is that the Model I Plus puts out a little more light and has a fully controllable spectrum with separate control over the UV, white, deep red, and far red. The Model I only allows control over the full spectrum and far red channel. Moving on to the bar style grow lights, the Model H and Model W are meant for flowering, while the Model V is strictly meant for veg given its lower light output. The Model H has an adjustable spectrum via a separate deep red boost channel. The Model W and V have a fixed full spectrum and an additional far red channel. Now let's get into the Model H review and talk about its build. ThinkRow designed this light to be modular, which allows for compact shipping and removable and replaceable bars should one bar ever fail. The bars are fairly lightweight and feel pretty sturdy and simply snap into the center driver assembly. Once put together, the fixture is 45 inches in length by 44.6 in width and 4.44 in height, and it weighs 38.8 pounds. The eight bars stretch nearly to the edge of a 4x4 tent. On one side of the driver assembly, you will find the power cord and controller receptacles. The other side, the side facing out of the tent in this review, houses the interface with an onboard dimmer and grouping control. A cord and NEMA 615P plug is included in the box. You can also choose to add a NEMA 515P 120 volt adapter plug. This fixture can be used straight out of the box, or you can hook it up to the Trollmaster HydroX HSC1 or HSC2 controller. Trollmaster makes a think row fixtures so the units integrate nicely. The Trollmaster HCS1 controller is the more affordable popular option. To use this with the ThinkGrow light, you'll need a Trollmaster LMAT adapter, which interfaces between the light and controller. With a controller, you have control up to 256 total lights and are able to group them. In addition to the lights, the Hydro X controls HVAC systems, mini splits, dehumidifiers and humidifiers, and CO2 generators or regulators. With the free Trollmaster app, you can access all the settings and alerts on the system from anywhere. The controller is a pretty powerful unit and I'm not doing it justice with this quick little blurb. So see the link in the description to learn more about the controller. Moving on. Ratchet hangers are not included with each light. This fixture comes with a five year manufacturer's warranty, is DLC and ETL certified for commercial grow applications, and is IP56 wet rated. ThinkRow does not disclose the brand or model of diodes that they use. Given the high efficacy and light output, I can conclude that these are really good diodes. The Model H uses full spectrum white diodes and 660 nanometer deep red diodes. These are on separate channels so can be adjusted independently. There's no UV in this fixture. For veg, you'll want to turn the deep red channel all the way down. After doing this, you'll notice that there is still some deep red lights on, so turning the red channel down to zero doesn't completely turn off all of the deep red. We recommend turning the red channel to 100% for flower. The part efficacy of this fixture will go up when using a higher red to white ratio in the spectrum. The Model H comes in at 2.7 micromoles per joule with a light output of 1700 micromoles per second. At full power, the unit draws 630 watts and 5.24 amps on 120 volts according to ThinkGrow. At 112 volts, I measured the fixture to be about 675 watts at 6.06 .06 amps. On 240 volt power, the Model H will draw slightly fewer watts and half the amperage. The heat output is 2150 BTUs per hour. Like grow lights similar to the Model H, this light is designed to cover a 4x4 to 5x5 area, depending on how much light you want to deliver to your plants. 5x5 areas are 36% larger than 4x4 areas, so the light hitting the plants at this coverage area will be significantly less, assuming you are filling the entire 5x5 area with plants. ThinkRow recommends using this light as close as 6 inches from the plants in a 4x4 area. Based on my PAR measurements, which you'll see soon, 12 to 18 inches seem to be a good distance in a 4x4 grow tent. Due to less reflectivity outside of a tent, 
12 inches or closer would be a good hanging height for one or a few lights. If you have a lot of these grow lights in a room, you can hang them farther away from the plants due to the higher availability of overlapping light. For veg, you can dim the fixture down to 50% and use them in the same 4x4 to 5x5 footprint without adjusting the height. Here's a part chart that Think Grow provided for the Model H in a 4x4 area. I do not think that these were taken in a tent. The average PPFD is over 1000 micromoles per second when hung at 6 inches. I took part measurements of the Model H in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent at 4 different distances. 36 inches, 24 inches, 18 inches, and 12 inches. So let's look at those par readings now. All right, our first reading is going to be at 36 inches. We're hitting right around 765 PPFD. And in the back, about 640. And this corner, about 580. And this other side, about 635. So this would be a good distance for veg if you are vegging at 36 inches at full intensity. Um, otherwise, it's just showing you the penetration you'd get at 36 inches into the canopy. These other distances that I'm about to show you are going to be better for flowering. So the first one's at 24 inches. We're hitting just under 1,000 ppfd in the center. And in the back, about 790. And this corner, about 675. And this left side looks like around 785 ppfd. So just notice that it's going to be more intense than that first reading that we took at 36 inches. Uh, you're starting to get into some good flowering numbers, uh, just under 1,000 ppfd. And it looks like pretty good uniformity throughout. Notice that we're not dropping too far off in the corners and edges. And this next reading is going to be at 18 inches. Looks like 1172 ppfd in the center and to the back about 885 and this corner about 765 and this other side about 870. So 18 inches would be a recommended flowering distance. This will get you some pretty good intensity and uniformity. Just notice how those numbers drop off a little bit as I move the meter around. And the last distance is 12 inches, about 1400 ppfd right in the center, about 980 in the back into the corner about 764 and this other side about 970. So 12 inches is giving you the most intensity but the uniformity is dropping off um, a little bit. So you know I'd recommend flowering somewhere between 12 and 18 inches perhaps 16 inches is good for most people in a 4x4 tent. Um, if you're flowering in a larger area or like a 5x5 or open room you're going to want to move this um, up a little bit. All right, that wraps it up. Now, overall, I really like this fixture. It was the first bar fixture that I reviewed that I had to assemble myself. There are a few other lights on the market that require assembly, like the Photon Tech X 600 watt, but self-assembly is not extremely common. Everything snaps together, so it's really easy to assemble and no wiring is required. The light output, efficacy, and build quality are all great. I like that these are made to integrate easily with the Trollmaster Hydro X controller, which makes sense since Trollmaster is the parent company of ThinkGrow. Growers looking for some deep red spectrum manipulation will like this light too. While an excellent light, there are a few things that stood out as negatives. 1. The connection between the bars and the driver box is a little loose so the bars can rock up and down when bumped. I used a straight edge to get all of the bars in line and the same distance from the bottom of the tent before shooting this review and taking PAR measurements. You also want to make sure that the bars are snapped in all the way, otherwise they might fall out when moved. While the bar issue was noticeable, I don't feel as though it would in any way affect your grow. Secondly, I'm not sure if this was just the light we received, but the dimming percentage on the fixture did not match the wattage draw. For example, the 10% intensity on the fixture did not match a 10% power draw on the kilowatt meter. 
nor did 50% intensity on the fixture match a 50% power drop from the meter. Therefore, I would not use the percentage as an absolute number, but more of a relative number when adjusting between intensities. Lastly, this was only an issue in a 4x4 tent. The power cable was hitting the rear of the tent and the front of the light was pushed a little bit forward. When the light is used in a larger tent, like a 5x5 or in a grow room, this will not be an issue. So just be aware that this light will fit into a 4x4, but if you have any negative pressure in the tent, the tent will start to squeeze around the light. The Model H is currently listed at $1,350. It's more pricey than many other grow lights with a similar build and light output. You can also check out the Model W if you want a light that is very similar to this one, but is $250 less expensive. It puts out just a little less light and you don't have the deep red spectrum control. The price tag on the Model H can be justified due to the quality build, spectrum control, and smart integration into the Trollmaster control system. There's a link for the ThinkGrow Model H product page in the description if you want to learn more or purchase this fixture. These lights ship for free in the lower 48 states with no tax in the USA. So kindly smash the like button and subscribe for more LED grow light reviews. Follow us on Instagram at LED Grow Lights Depot too. Link below. Think LEDs and illuminate your grow efficiently. See you guys.